morning everybody it's Nick I thought I would do some updates as I go through this journey of um, well you know the menopause depression um, life uh, getting through the dips in life whatever we whatever labels we want to attach I suppose so um, just a quick update for those of you that don't know I'm now a week into um, taking my antidepressants which I started a week ago um, I'm still getting some of the side effects which you do get for the first couple of weeks I'm okay though because I, I know that and I've taken them before and they, they do ease off it's agitation headaches nausea that kind of thing but they do they do ease off as the day goes on and um, you know, I've definitely been on much more of an even keel and, you know, I haven't, I don't think I've cried now for four or five days and I was pretty much crying most days all day. So that's a real step forward. Um, and people might say that's not because it's good to cry. Um, and, you know, I agree. I always think that things are better out than in, but I, I just got to a, a stage in my journey where I really needed some respite. It's just like, you know, these huge waves coming over me, huge emotional waves coming over me day in, day out, uh, with, with just no respite in between. And I, I personally had just got to a stage where I just needed to take breath and I just needed some respite and I just needed some calm water for a while. So in those in those terms, you know, the objective has absolutely been met. And I, and I am actually really enjoying that. Things like, you know, looking forward to going to watch my son's football and stuff like that, rather than worrying about um, how I'm going to have the energy to get myself out of bed and how I'm going to be able to get through it without crying and so forth. So for me, that's very much what I needed at the minute. But I wanted to share that there's been two other things um, that I've noticed. I've been consciously trying to do over the past week which have been equally as important because because I, cause I don't think it's as simple as a, a you know one-pronged attack I, I do think it's a very holistic approach so the first thing is I've taken away the expectations of myself now I know that it's um it's, it's easier said than done I'm in a very blessed position you know so I I'm able to do that I have the flexibility to do that and I do appreciate that I'm blessed to be able to do it but I can so I, I am going to because otherwise it would be a waste of that opportunity and they say that it's the expectations and having expectations that, that causes suffering and there is something in that. So I've taken away all expectations of myself. So apart from the really basic things of, you know, ensuring my children are fed, you know, they're at school, they're safe, they're doing whatever it is they're doing, um, I don't have any expectations. So whatever I achieve every day is basically icing on the cake, you know, whether that be as simple as just going for a walk with the dog, you know, if I do write something fine, um, whatever it is, is icing on the cake, but there are no expectations of myself. So everything is therefore a bonus. And actually, I just don't have this kind of, I don't get up in the morning with this big kind of, oh my God, how am I going to do those 15 things? Because those 15 things aren't on my list anymore. That's That's been really, really healthy. And, and ironically, it has probably enabled me to do some stuff I wouldn't otherwise have done. And the third thing, and the perhaps most important thing, uh, and, and it started last Monday, so I went to see my doctor on Tuesday. Um, I just got to the end of the tether on Tuesday, and I started my medication on Tuesday. So on Monday, I was very, very down in the dumps, and um, I was literally just about to curl up on the sofa um, and kind of, you know, pull the blanket over my head and shut the world out for a couple of hours when I got a text from uh, my swimming buddy saying, it wasn't a question, it was a simple, I'll see you in the pool at three. And uh, I don't know for whatever reason, but I thought, crikey, that's very bizarre. Uh, I was obviously meant to get that text. I just need to pick my bag up and go. And I didn't allow myself to overanalyze it or think about it too much. I literally picked my bag up, got in the car and went. That made a big difference to my day. And that stuck in my mind because I thought, you know, I think um, you, you need to look. You know, you really need to open your eyes to be able to see some opportunities to, to interact or to take what the universe is trying to offer you. And at the same time, I read Gabrielle Bernstein in her, her new book, and she said, you don't need to actually worry about um, getting through the dark or letting go, get, letting go of all of the dark stuff that's in your life and stuff that's weighing you down. You just need to choose to see the light. And that really stuck in my head, and I thought, yeah, there's something in that. And so every single day, I have to do one thing which comes from light and love, just, just one thing. And every single day, because, and maybe it's, maybe I'm manifesting it, maybe it's just because I'm really conscious, uh, maybe it was always going to happen, I don't know, but every single day, something has happened that has drawn me out. So on Tuesday, I left a review for my wonderful yoga teacher and she responded offering me a free massage, which was gorgeous. Then, you know, the next day, my friend just texted me out the blue and said, do you want to go for a walk with the dog? So I thought, okay, just go. Uh, amazing, amazing, um, walk with her then something else happened where somebody needed some help and, and, and so and every single day without fail something has happened 
and it all of it has meant it, it's taken me out of myself I've either been interacting with somebody else I've been in nature I've been helping somebody else and it's just really brought some really positive energy into my day and it's 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 just taken me out of the of the kind of pit that I got myself well, I got myself in, uh, that I'm in, you know, for whatever reason, you know, there's a uh, slightly judgmental myself, isn't it? But it's just for whatever reason you're in the pit. And that is something that I am really, really focused on is that every single day to look for something that brings light and love into my life. And if it, do, if it doesn't happen, i.e., you know, if these random things don't happen, then I just have to do that one thing. Whether that be something as simple as dropping somebody a text or calling somebody or sending a, a note in the letter or, um, you know, smiling at somebody and having a conversation in, in the shop, uh, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be anything complex. It's just about, I think it just comes down to interaction and helping people and having something that takes you out of yourself. Um, and, the, and the fourth thing, um, I am going to embark um, and, you know, do some deeper work now that I've, I've kind of got some calm waters and I feel like I've just got a chance to take a breath um now I feel that I'm able to actually sit and start doing a little bit deeper work on you know what's really going on here because I think I've said before you know I've got a real theory that apart from the physical stuff with the menopause it just blows open anything that hasn't been dealt with any wounds any traumas any things that are just lurking in the corner it just it just it just presents everything back to you in in high definition and it's like whoa so I, I think there's something in there so I, I think the other aspect I do need to bring in is to to delve into some of that and just be able to um to let it go and and to move on but I I think I need some help to be able to do that and where am I? I think I'm probably operating at maybe a three or four out of ten. Uh, last week, um, when I did my first vlog, uh, when I, you know, got up and said, okay, I need to do some, I need to bring my disaster recovery plan into place, I was probably at naught to one out of ten. So that's a really big step forward. Um, and I thought that I would try and share this journey as I go through it because I think it's it's um, it's important to share in the moment when it's when it's real and you're going through it because I know that when I look back, you know, your brain softens things. It kind of ch it's like it changes your perspective. So, you know, as hard as it is, of course I <laughs> don't always feel like doing this, but I think it's important to do it because I won't remember these feelings. I won't remember all of these thoughts. And I'm sure that there's lots of other people that are going through very, very similar journeys because, um, you know, it's just the way it is for whatever reason. So I really hope that these uh, observations and thoughts are of help and sending everybody lots of love. Take care. Bye.